Welcome to our Wellness Wednesday Health Show. I'm your host, Dr. Kala Hewlett from the Back Pain and Joint Center of Texas. And once again, we are on location, super excited to be at Broth and Brine with Jacqueline. Jacqueline, welcome to our show today. Thank you so much, a pleasure to be here. Now you'll see a kitchen behind us. We're actually in the break room of the building, so this isn't the Broth and Brine kitchen behind us. That's right. Um, but Jacqueline, how about let's tell us a little about yourself, how you got interested into the, the food industry. Okay. And then we'll go from there. Okay. So um, cooking has always been a lifelong passion of mine, um, going back to eight or nine years of age. So it's always been my thing, my hobby, the thing I was known for. Everybody came to Jacqueline's house to eat. I hosted all the dinner parties. I did all of that. Um, my original career was journalism and teaching and traveled the world and got really interested in culinary when I was in Europe. So I did some studying in Spain. But you know, I never thought I would make a career of it. But what ended up happening was my nephew um, had autism. So it launched me on a journey to study the, the gut brain connection. And through doing that, um, I learned you know, so much about nutrition and how it, it came into play. And that just really created for me, uh, I felt like I, I needed to do more um, than just teach in the classroom. I really wanted to come in and make a difference, um, you know, with kids and nutrition. And that's really what launched me on my next career path, which is a personal chef. And then I specialize in food allergies. I specialize in low carb, paleo, keto type eating. And then um, I realized we just don't have anything like that in the Conroe area. So it really made me um, just have that new dream of starting a restaurant, a brick and mortar place where people can come and get their meals and know that they're healthy and know that they are just full of uh, natural, uh, real food ingredients. How cool. You talked about the gut-brain connection, mm -hmm. which is starting to get more well-known. Yes. When you say that, what do you mean about the gut-brain connection? So as we know, we've, we've learned that the seat of our immune system is housed in our gut so that when we have low immunity, then not only do we have issues in the gut, but we also have issues in the brain. The, the, the brain is the only organ that is directly tied to the gut via that vagus nerve cluster. So what we know is that if we have gut problems, we also have brain problems. We also know that like our digestive enzymes are manufactured in our gut and so are neurotransmitters as well. And one and the same, the hormone, the neuro neurotransmitter. So it all just, all these systems come into play. Um, and so when we look at our gut health, we have to think about what is the quality of our, uh, the state of our gut as far as, is it leaky? Is it inflamed? Is it red and irritated? Um, is it able to uptake the nutrition that we're giving it? Um, and then also uh, we have to take a look at the, 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 um, the <laughs> The probiotic balance. So we look at those. Um, it's almost like a know, whole live cultures in there. It's like a whole ecosystem. Exactly. Inside of the gut. Exactly. And what's scary about that brain gut gut brain connection is you can have different symptoms, which may present in the form of different disease or diagnosis that a patient's had, and they don't even realize. It, so they're trying to get medication or doing this test and that test. In reality. Yes the medication's not gonna fix it because it's a direct problem with the gut. That's, that's, that is exactly it. And you know, for us at Broth and Brian, it's food is medicine first. So we say food is your first line defense. And you know, yes, work with your practitioners, your health practitioners, but if we get the food right for you, then you're giving your body all of the tools that it needs in order to go in and correct and make those, those um, medical interventions that you're doing durable and make them lasting in your body. You know, what's so powerful about the diet and that gut connection, I was talking to someone the other day and I said, okay, and they had a dog and I said, if I were to show, and they love their dogs, mm -hmm. I said, if I were to show up at your house with some chocolate brownies mm -hmm. and try to share them with your dog, what would you do? They're like, I'd cut your hand off. You don't give a dog chocolate. Right. It's not healthy for it. Right. I said, okay, what if I had a Dr. Pepper and your dog looked like it was thirsty and I put the Dr. Pepper in the bowl. What would you do? <laughs> They're like, I would run over and pull that out. I was like, you can't give a dog Dr. Pepper. You can't give a dog chocolate brownies. That's not healthy. Right. But yet, as humans, what do we do all the time? We give ourselves Dr. Peppers and chocolate brownies. <laughs> and things that aren't healthy. And then we wonder why we have low immunity, we have diabetes, we have high cholesterol, all these things right. that can happen. We have high inflammation, we have diabetes and so forth. So yes. a lot of these things through, I like what that first thing you said that something about through the food or healing food as medicine food is medicine food is medicine first mm -hmm. 
you know, and, and we all know sugar is bad for us, too much sugar is bad for us, but you know, we pay attention to like, just to the amount of grains that are in your diet. So broth and brine tends to pull back. We're not a bread-based restaurant. We're not a grain-based restaurant. So for example, if we're over consuming the corn, the soy, the wheat, those are all laden with omega-6 fats, which are inflammatory, which we do want some of those, but the American diet tends to be way too high in omega-6 and way too low in omega-3. So we're trying to correct that balance yeah. with our food. So you have a lot of gluten-free dishes. Yes, we're a 100% gluten-free restaurant. Okay. It's top to bottom, which always I, will be. Which is because so many more people that I meet now have realized that they have gluten intolerance or gluten sensitivity. Yes. They, maybe they don't break out in hives or have a terrible reaction, but they know if they yes. consume gluten, their body's more sluggish or yes. they get brain fog. Or, yes, and that's that, that inflammation process mm -hmm. coming about. I had one person the other day tell me that they weren't sure, so they pulled back gluten for two or three weeks and then had some, yep. and they're like, my, my body was achy and stiff, and yes. it was that inflammation. Yes, you can really feel the weed in your joints. I think that's one of the first things that improves, and then when you bring it back, all of a sudden that pain just comes back into your body. Mm -hmm. I know you guys did a 30-day challenge. We're yeah, in the we middle did. of our 30-day challenge Very as cool. well. Mm -hmm. So one of our, my sous chef, um, his name's Christopher Allen, he um, has also gone off of wheat gluten, but over the weekend, he went to Whole Foods to eat. He's still on his 30 day challenge. He ordered the tacos, wheat, wheat tacos, but he pulled the inside out of the taco and just ate that part. But he had a major reaction, which he has pinned to the fact that he had some gluten. Because just, yeah, in the- In his taco. Was interesting. Yeah, yeah, and he got, you know, the itchy, the, that, that classic wheat allergy reaction is the itchy arms. Um, so, so he doesn't know for sure, but you know, he's now watching to see what are the reactions whenever he does have wheat. And it's really cool because you have an entire gluten-free, I feel a sneeze coming on. I'm trying to fight it. Right? <laughs> so <laughs> if, you, if you see me scratch my nose, it's the only reason why. If he runs off camera, it'll <laughs> be all right. Camera. <laughs> you know, so a lot of restaurants have started having gluten-free options for a couple of them. Yes. But you're a hundred percent gluten-free, which, which is, and I've had her food multiple times and it's really good. I can vouch. I have seen him. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of the things if someone is <clears throat> looking for like, do you do breakfast, lunch, dinner? What are some of the more popular gluten-free type dishes? Cause I'll tell you the first time I heard gluten-free years back, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, do I have to eat salad all day? Right. Like, like you, you, people just aren't sure what that means. So right. maybe you can talk a little about what a gluten-free diet encompasses. Yes. And some of the most yes. popular dishes you offer. Hundred percent. And you know, gluten-free is such a huge umbrella now. Um, so, you know, there's it's a spectrum too. So you can have you can still find a way to eat that standard American diet and call it gluten-free, but um, that's not what we're proponents of. So first and foremost, we're proponents of healthy food, fresh food, whole food. And then we take that and build our menu. So for us to say we're gluten-free, yes, we have the, the uh, boutique bakery. We do offer the brownies and the cookies and the little cakelets and all these little specialties that we do. But we believe, you know, that falls in that nice little 20 to 30% of your life and the other 80 to 70% of the time, you know, you eat very healthy. So for us, gluten-free is a nice clean protein a healthy fat and loads of color on your plate, which would be vegetables. Um, so healthy fruits. fats, what are some of your favorite yeah. healthy fats? So healthy fats could be anything from, we could be talking eggs, grass-fed butter, coconut oil, um, even uh, meat, rendered meat fats, which we also deep fry in here as well. Uh, we're super conscious about the types of fats that we use. We use olive oil, um, avocado oil, um, and then some of those plant-based oils that you might think would be healthy, they're so high, <clears throat> so highly processed that, um, first of all, the, they're void of nutrition by the time you get them, and they tend to fall in that trans fat category because they actually go bad on the shelf. Oh, okay. So, it, you know, those, those things like the palm oil you might hear about, the cottonseed oil, the um, canola oil, we just bypass all of those. Okay, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Now, you open for breakfast as well. We are, um, we're open for brunch. So we call it our brunch menu. We open at 10 o'clock AM, although we've been known to open earlier. If we have okay. someone here, we don't mind to do that at all. Um, in, in fact, sous chef loves to do breakfast. So as, as we start pulling in people, as we start building our breakfast crowd, um, we'll start backing that opening time up as well. 
Um, but also you should know we have brunch all day long. So you can get in here at two or three and order brunch or you can order brunch for dinner. Um, you might have that new baby at home and you can't get out of the house till two or three or four. Just come on in, you can still have your breakfast. And you've got gluten-free pancakes, you we have do. some egg dishes we and do. other options as well. Yes, we try to cover that gamut. So we have something for the paleo eater, the keto eater. Um, we have, you know, still that traditional um, sausage gravy. We have our pancakes, you know, we're trying to cover that whole breakfast mm -hmm. um, taste. And then pretty soon, I know a lot of people have been waiting, but we're about to launch our biscuits and gravy. So we will okay. have those nice gluten-free biscuits for you. I do promise. Okay, very, well, in, in Texas, right? But yes. the South, that is a, it's a staple of our diet. It's a staple of our <laughs> diet, and there's nothing wrong with enjoying that. You know, uh, we, we wouldn't say have that biscuits and gravy every day, but you know, if you wanna have that special Friday breakfast, then you come on in and order it. That's per perfectly fine. And then I know you also have a, a broth menu that- Yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. does that rotate or stay the same every week? Uh, some of it stays the same and some rotates. We always offer a chicken-based broth. We um, al almost always have a beef broth and then we're doing specialty blends. Mm -hmm. So some of you are still waiting on those specialty blends um, and I'll tell you, it's like, you know, you do, you go through a new construction project, which you're getting ready to do as well. But sometimes, you know, you get things and they just don't work. And we have had repeated problems with our major stock kettle, which is a 20 gallon kettle. Uh, but I can tell you, we're about 15 days out from a brand new kettle. Um, no, no more issues are we <laughs> expecting. So we will definitely get launching on that broth. Um, um, so it, you know, it fits with our namesake. So we have the broth and the brine, and those two things go together for the gut health. So you have the broth that goes through; it's hydrating, it's repairing for the gut tract, and then you have the brine that goes through and it repopulates all that friendly bacteria okay. very, as very well. Good. So That's super important. You know, it's funny was you were mentioned that I was talking to someone the other day who they're doing part of our 30 day challenge, but part of that's cleaning up their diet. Yes. And they used to have a lot of acid reflux. Yes. And they're like, I haven't had acid reflux in two, almost three weeks now. Mm -hmm. And the only thing they changed was their diet. Yes. And so, yes, it, it's, it's fun to be able to do those, make those dishes at home, yes. but it's also great to have a restaurant to say, Hey, you know, let me try this for their breakfast or for brunch, yes. lunch, or an early dinner. Yes. Um, and that's the thing about good food. You can make this at home. That's absolutely true. You know, our dream was to have a place though, like we used to drive around and it would take forever to pick where we were going to eat because we were assessing it based on the quality of the ingredients. You know, it's one thing to go to a restaurant where they cook great, but you also have to look at what is in that food. One of those primary problems with restaurants are the quality of the fats that they're using, of course, you know? So I think it's just being mindful of what's going in your food. So we've made that pledge, or we wanna start with those really high quality, healthy, beautiful, living food ingredients, and then, you know, add our flavors and do, do what we do. So we want it to be a great food experience, but we also, we have to feel good about what we're serving you too. Love it. So if someone's at home right now and their stomach's growling, like, okay, I'm hungry, yes. well, let me check this place out. Mm -hmm. uh, where's a website they can go to to look at the menu? Yes, so it is broth and brine, so spell it all out, B-R-O-T-H-A-N-D-B-R-I-N-E dot C-O. So it's dot co, not dot com. And we'll put a link uh, below so that we can just click the button and follow it. Yes, and I, if I'll also say we have online ordering. We have so many different ways to order, mm -hmm. so you can get right on your device and order straight from our website. You can also come in and order from our, our lobby kiosk or of course the old-fashioned way, come on into the restaurant, mm -hmm. meet with the real life person who's happy to take your order as well. Okay. Um, and we have curbside pickup, we have contactless food locker pickup, um, and we also have delivery within a five mile radius of the building. So where are you located? That way yes, people know. we get that question so much. So we are in the new Transmed Wellness Building. Mm -hmm. Um, where Dr. Hewlett will soon be. I know he's announced that already. We are, yes. So we have, so this is, for those of you who've been following us, we're gonna be on the second floor. When you walk into the entryway on the main floor mm -hmm. for restaurants just to the right side, you can't miss it. That's and right. there's multiple tables as well outside. Uh, yes, really. and I, I don't know if you know this yet, but Apple Maps doesn't have us yet. So um, Google Maps does. So if you're trying to find us, use Google Maps. But also if you could do us the favor of pinging when you get here on the Apple Maps, that'll force their algorithm to update. That way, so. they, that way they know you're physically here, yes. not somewhere else. Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, awesome. <laughs> Anything else you wanna share uh, before we close out for today? Just hope to see you, um, and do know that we can customize things for you. So if you do have those food allergies, or if you're on a specialty diet, 
you just need to tell me or Savannah or, or put it in the subject line, the special notes line when you make your order. We're happy to make adaptations um, and, and we can also meet and consult with you as well. Awesome. Well, Jacqueline, thank you for your time today. I know you're super busy. Thank you. As always, wish you all the best, the best in health and wellness and we'll see you next week. Awesome.